Welcome back everyone and happy 4th of July weekend. It's good to see you once again. It's actually early June, but this footage will be coming out in early July, which is good because I actually find one of the coolest tokens I've ever found. Um, it's something of significant American history. You'll see here in just a moment as I show in the thumbnail, but we're gonna go out to some locations that date back to the 1940s and 50s and hopefully find some pretty interesting relics. Let's get straight to it. Hey there you guys, welcome back. I've been out detecting for about 20 minutes now, maybe 30. Got a bunch of trash, got a junky bracelet a little while ago. Not a very nice find, but I was gonna show you, I just got another piece of jewelry. And I thought I had a piece of gold, it was ringing up as a 71. I believe that's just a plated ring. Gosh darn it. I'd love to find some gold this week, so. Better get back to it and hunt around a little bit more. All right, you guys, I just got a loud 72 signal and I just spotted something sitting in the grass. Don't really know what it is just yet. It looks like there's a calendar on it. What the heck is that? Is it a medallion or something? Might be on a chain. What the heck is this? Hmm, maybe it's a necklace, yeah? Some sort of necklace. What is that? That is really weird. I don't know what the heck that is. Huh, it's got the all-seeing eye there. That's a weird find. I don't know what that would be. I'll have to look that one up. But it's a whole whole chain, I guess. I don't know. We'll put it away and hopefully get a proper identification on that. This is why you always check your finds. I just got a super deep signal. It was about eight inches down and it was a folded up piece of aluminum. But you know what this is? This small item is actually a part of a bicycle license plate from like the 1960s. My community had these, and I've dug up probably four or five in the last 15 years. But uh, that's what that is. It's a, it's a small piece of a bicycle license plate. How cool is that? We'll put it away and keep hunting. Don't really know what I just popped out of the ground here. I've got a little coin. It's a little bit smaller than a quarter and uh, it's got the Statue of Liberty on it. So let's find out together what this is. I have certainly seen this design before. Um, there's the Statue of Liberty right there. But what is this? It's brass, I believe. Cele celebrating Sears New Century, huh. 1886 to 1986. Well, that's kind of cool. That is certainly a different kind of find. I think uh, Sears went bankrupt last year, if that's the Sears company that I know. And that's what this is promoting, but still a neat find. We'll put that one in the bag. I just cleaned that coin up a little bit and uh, am very surprised by what it says. It says, contains authentic material and there's the Statue of Liberty. I'm assuming this coin was made for the uh, the centennial celebrations of the Statue of Liberty and actually contains a small amount of copper from the Statue of Liberty. That is really cool. It's about the last thing I would expect to find today, but I will happily take a coin that has material from the Statue of Liberty. That is awesome. Dedicated in 1886 by President Cleveland, the Statue of Liberty soon personified the American ideals of equality, democracy, and freedom. For decades, the colossal statue greeted new immigrants in New York Harbor and continues to represent many of our nation's strongest principles. After many years exposed to the elements, however, the monument was in disrepair by the 1970s. In anticipation of the 1986 centennial celebrations for the statue, a massive conservation and restoration project was completed on the monument. During that work, a significant amount of original copper was removed from the statue and used promotionally to fund the project. An effort by the Sears Roebuck and Company where these copper tokens struck from original material removed during the restoration. Although this token has little inherent value today, it is a remarkable piece of American history to uncover while metal detecting in Missouri. 
It is a relic that I will continue to treasure for many years. Well, this was a pretty weird find, and it was actually sitting in the side wall of this hole. It is a cufflink. I don't find these too often. I don't think it's silver, to be honest with you, but uh, it's kind of neat. It doesn't look too old, but uh, we'll put it away. Very good. Well, it's a very small piece of the whole thing, but I just got a little tiny sliver of a harmonica reed, like a brass harmonica reed. That's pretty cool. I assume the rest of it is out here somewhere, but uh, we'll put it away. There has been a lack of old coins this week. I've not found very many, but I just popped out a really green penny at about uh, four inches down. I bet it'll be a weedy. Let's take a look together and find out what we have here. Oh boy. I don't know how easily I'm gonna be able to clean this with just one hand. I have to pop in. There's a link in there on one side. Yeah, give me just a moment and I'll come back in here and we'll figure out exactly what this is. Yeah, it's a weedy. One moment. Isn't that a pretty sight, folks? There's some wheat on the back of this coin. It's a Depression era wheat penny, a 1937. So this coin is what, uh, 84 years old? Not bad. Haven't found many old coins, like I said, but uh, we'll get back to it and maybe find a few more. Oh yeah, I just popped my big plug here and about six inches down, I have the rim to a silver coin. So let's find out together what I have here. Here is some of the stuff I've been digging just recently. I just got the top to an all natural pasta sauce container and a destroyed Hummer uh, car. But check this out. That is the rim to a silver dime, I believe. Let's find out together what this is. Oh, be a Merc or something like that. What do we got? Hmm. I'm thinking that might be a rosy. I don't want to rub on it too much. We'll clean it up and find out together what this is. That is awesome. Well, you guys, I might be mistaken. I don't know if this is a silver dime. It's actually Canadian. What is this? Oh my gosh. That is not a silver dime. It's a 1988, I believe, stainless steel <laughs> Canadian dime. Oh my gosh. That stinks. Thought for sure I had a silver dime, but uh, wasn't meant to be. Talk about being surprised. This was uh, a really loud uh, 83 signal. Thought I was digging up an aluminum can. I've dug up plenty of those this week, but no, it is actually a big cog out of like a clock. So that's really neat. That's got some age to it. I'd say it's probably 100 years old or something like that. Pretty cool. I am not entirely sure what I have here. It was about three inches down. It's some sort of little coin or token. And it was ringing up in the ground as like a 61, 62, kind of a uh, pull tab number. Out of the hole, it's a 68. Yeah, some sort of little aluminum coin. We'll find out together what this is. It's probably a, a play dime or something like that if I had to guess. That's what it's going to be. A little play dime. Well, yeah, you see the coffee pot there, or coffee cup. These are popular, like, in the 1960s to teach kids how to count their money. We'll take it. I was actually predicting uh, key with its signal. It was a really loud 77 signal at a couple inches down. I was wrong. It's another piece of, of uh, harmonica reed. This one's a little bit bigger this time though. Gave it just a little bit of a scratch there. It's in some pretty rocky soil, or it was. So, not a bad find. Just thought I was digging up a big aluminum can with a big giant 83 signal. But actually I got some sort of toy car. A little matchbox more than likely. Let's see if I can get out of this plug. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. I'll take another toy car. We'll uh, put it in the bag and hopefully get it back to a kid. 
Well, let me tell you guys, you just never know what you're gonna find out metal detecting. I just got a big iron signal because I'm digging some of those signals up and I just popped something out of the ground that's pretty interesting. Let's take a look. Well, that looks like an iron to me, a little miniature iron. It could be for like a child or maybe for like uh, the cuffs and collars on clothing. I don't know. I'll have to do a little bit of research and maybe get back to you guys, but still a cool little find. Just got me a token, ring up just like any other token would. A perfect 79 signal on the Fisher Goldbug Pro. Let's see, what do we got here? No cash value right there. Don't think it's very old. It's only about it, been out here a few years, maybe. It's a little carousel token. I found a few of these over the years. In fact, I dug one about a month ago. So, pretty cool. Put that away. Well, surprisingly, I just managed to find another pretty interesting old relic. It uh, rang up as a 60, and it was not very deep, so I was thinking it was going to be a pull tab, but it is not. So, uh, let's take a look. Well, that is a heel plate, of all things. A little tiny heel plate with a heart in the middle of it. How cool is that? It may have been for a kid, if I had to take a guess. They uh, used to have these on the bottoms of shoes back in the early days, back like the 1800s and early 1900s. So, pretty neat find. I don't find these very often. Hmm, I just found this sitting in the grass. Hasn't been out here but a few days, probably. I don't know who that fella is. I'm going to guess it's some sort of anime. I have to ask my brother and a friend of mine who that is, but uh, you just never know what you're going to find out metal detecting. Well, you guys, I'm back at the house now after that last hunt. I've managed to clean up all my finds, and uh, we've got a few minutes to go over the board, so let's take a look. That is about eight to nine hours of metal detecting trash. Look at all that junk. Lots of pieces of cans and uh, iron scrap and things like that. So if you're gonna go out and metal detect, please take all this stuff with you, including the trash sitting on the ground. But we'll come over here and look at the board because we managed to fill it up pretty well. We'll come down here to the bottom left-hand corner. Got myself a big piece of brass. Don't know what that's off of. I'll go in the scrap bucket. A big pile of zinc pennies. Got a couple of grommets up here, three grommets piece of a firework. Um, there's a piece of a bicycle license plate. Pretty cool. Circa 1960s. Little stack of 95% copper pennies. Got me some bullets in here and just pieces of lead and things like that. I didn't tell you guys this, but uh, I got those two pieces of harmonica reed. They were at least 100 feet apart. And you know what? I think they're the same. Uh, they're parts of the same harmonica reed. So that's pretty cool. I like finding that kind of stuff. Part of a zipper. Um, I managed to get a few clad quarters, clad dimes, some nickels. In total, I think I found about $6 and change. Piece of a bicycle. Um, there's that junky bracelet down there. There's a brass cap off of something. Um, I do believe this is actually like a child's iron. Pretty neat. Never found one of those before. It's got some age to it. There are my pull tabs. Look at all the pull tabs. I must have found at least 100. I was really, really looking for some more gold this week, and it didn't happen once again. It's been at least three months since I found any gold, so we'll get it next time. Uh, what else do we have up here? Got this piece of brass wiring, or copper wiring, uh, lumber treatment tag. Um, this is pretty cool. I showed you guys this coming out of the ground, this heel plate. It's pretty worn down. It's obviously been on somebody's shoe for a long time. It's not in very good shape. Here's a better condition one I dug up years ago. That's another heel plate. They actually have sizes too. Um, that's a one and a half, whatever that means. But these heel plates are actually had a certain size for the shoe, obviously. Um, got me a spark plug up there, a brass spark plug, some cars, a few shotgun shells. There's a like a steel washer. There's a planchet, that big cog out of a clock. Not a bad find. Um, there's my cufflink. It's pretty junky, actually. Sadly, don't find it very often though, so I might as well show you guys that. Um, then we'll get to the more cool stuff, I guess. Well, it's kind of weird, that uh, anime pin. Kind of cool, I guess. There's the uh, evil eye uh, pendant that I found. That's pretty unusual. If you guys know exactly what that is, I'd like to know a little bit more about it, so I'll take it. A uh, junky little brass ring. Um, what else do we have down here? There's a little aluminum button. I uh, thought for sure that was a piece of silver when I dug it up, but it's just a little piece of aluminum as well. There's that little play dime. I need find. My uh, Canadian dime that uh, I thought for sure was going to be silver. 
the uh, some of their Canadian coins actually come to the ground looking just like this in great condition. So they, they've uh, fooled me before, unfortunately. Got my one wheat penny for the week. This is pretty much my only old coin, a 1937 wheatie. There's my little uh, carousel token, a few little pieces of brass and copper and things like that. Um, but by far my favorite find this week and totally unexpected. I'll probably never find another one. I got a token made from copper from the Statue of Liberty. That is really cool. I looked online and there were actually a couple people that found these before, but uh, they're not terribly common. They're, uh, there's not a lot of inherent value, but um, I just love finding pieces of American history like this. That is an amazing find. Well, you guys, we didn't manage to dig any high dollar items this week. No silver, no gold, but we did manage to uncover some pretty cool relics. I love that Statue of Liberty coin. It's pretty cool. I don't know that I'll ever find another one. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing, and I will see you next time. Bye now.